Hello and welcome to another tutorial from More ICT. In this one, I'm going to show you how to pass values from a Windows form to another one. Especially if you have two Windows forms. So right now I have two. So I have form one and form two. So this is my form one here and this is form two. So what I want is I want this picture box and this label to be populated from the information that's provided in this one. As soon as we select a picture or use a URL to grab a link for a picture, I want the picture to display on this picture box alongside with the information about it. Okay, let me just show you a demonstration of it. For example, I click on add image, go to browse PC, choose this one, select send. It closes itself and then it will open this one. Okay, so right now I have the picture box that's been populated alongside with the location of the picture itself. You can also go back here and paste a link of an image, click send. The image will also then be loaded into the picture box along with the URL address. Okay, so we're going to do this one very quickly in Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Okay, in this window, I'm going to click on create a new project. I'll choose my Windows Form.net uh, app. Uh, let's name this project as values form 2 to from form 2 to form or ICT next uh, dot net 6 is fine the create All right, so empty project has been created I need a, a button I need a label and I need a picture box it is uh, let's make a square one here I'm gonna leave the label underneath and then the button underneath that so for the label, I'm going to turn off auto size, so I can resize the label manually. Also allows us to center the text. Okay, and then go to text align. Enter the text in the middle there. Place the button right here, say the image. Oh. Need to be in the text option image and we'll just resize the windows here we'll just move the label slightly up okay this would do and then change the title of the form to between forms or ICT okay so this is our first window now let's create the second one right click on the name of the project in the solutions explorer click add windows form like windows form form 2 add yeah okay, i need a button first browse pc i'm gonna copy and paste that button And place it here. This one's text is going to be send. I need a text box here. The text box I just place in the middle there. Okay, and then resize the window. just renaming the title text okay we got both of our forms now i'm going to add an event to the add image button from form one so click on the button go to the events window type in add image click event okay and so that will create the click event here and then we also need events for the other two We'll uh, create an instance of the form two here first. Form two, new form equals to new form two. Okay, and the new form will show dialog. This will open up the new form for us. Okay, and then in this window, I'm going to click on the browse PC. Go to the events window, 
Let's see. Right, so image. Click. Okay, go back to form two again. Go to send button here. Uh, uh, inside the click, say send OK. And send that over as well. Go back to the form design. Uh, while the send button is selected, go to the properties window. And then there's a dialogue result option here. Uh, we want to set that to OK. Because we're going to be using the dialogue result to check whether a OK was sent from form 2. So then we can pass the values of form 2 back to form 1. Okay, after that, actually let's check if this is working first and then uh, we can start off with form 2. Right. Okay. okay. That's fine. So as you can see, as soon as I click send, it closes itself because this is a OK button at the moment. So this is seen as a message box. Okay. That's great. All right. So the way we're going to send messages back and forth is by using a static string variable in form one. So what a static variable does, it allows us to sort of access it without instantiating a class. So by having a static variable inside of a class, you simply need to reference the class and then call the static variable to change its values. Uh, let me just show you quickly how it's done. So it's a public static string file name equals to string to empty. Okay. Right now I'm opening the other form here. Okay. And then if I delete this line from there, I can just say dialog result. Only results equals to for new form dot show dialog, right? So whatever result that comes from there, and then we can capture that. And then I want to say if result is equals equals OK, then label one dot text is equals to file name, right? So we just keep it at that for now, just to check if the file name is passed back into the program. Let's go to form two and inside the browse for click event. Right here, I can check um, the open file dialog, OFD equals to new open file dialog. So I'll create a new open file dialog here, OFD dot filter, file name filter equals to images only we only want to input images files and then i use a pipe symbol to then define which images i'm after astrid.jpg semicolon astrid.jpeg oh, semicolon there no, astrid astrid.png semicolon astrid.gif okay so these are the only files that we're allowed to load okay and now we can say if okay, OFD dot show dialog equals equal dialog result OK. We click the OK button on this form, then we can send the information to the other end. So here we can say text box one dot text is equals to path dot get full path. And then we'll get the file as in the OFD dot file name here. Then we can get the full path of the file we just loaded. Okay. And inside of the send OK event, we're going to say form one dot file name. So as you can see here, we don't have to instantiate the form one. We have access to the file name variable directly from there. That's because we're using a static keyword on the variable. Okay, so if we try this one out now, Let's see if this one works. I'm going to click on add image, go to browse PC. And then from this folder here, I'm just going to try and load this one. At the moment, you can see that uh, the information gets loaded into the text box with the image and the extension. So I can click send and then it changes it in the label right here. We can also do the same with links um, such as URLs of images. So right now I'm using an image here. And then if I click send, that also will then get updated onto the label because it got sent from the text box because we're sending everything from the text box into the file name variable once we click OK. 
right? More sense. So if I change change the image again to say arrow, then the Cairo one will load up. Okay. So that's all we need to do for the form two. Let's move back to form one. And here we can now finalize the program. Okay. So instead of here, I'm going to do another if statement here. So I need to do two things. First, I need to check if the file name starts with the HTTP or HTTPS keyword. So that means that's an online URL. Then I need to use the picturebox1.load option. If it's a local file, then I need to use the image.from file option. Label one text is going to be equals to file name as well. Else, we can do picture box one dot image equals to image dot from file, and then pass in the file name here. And then label dot a uh, label one gets the file name as well. Okay, so that's all we need to do. Let's try and run this again. Let's say add image, browse. Let's check Dubai. And Dubai image will get loaded. I think I need to reset the... So at the moment, the size mode is set to normal. So if you just click on the little triangle, we should be able to just, uh, resize it to a stretch image. So the whole image will fit into this picture box. Okay, let's try again. Add image. Browse. Okay, so now you can see the whole image. Los Angeles. Good. And now if I try the link, as you can see, the link is now loaded as well with the link address. Okay, so this has been a quick tutorial on how to pass values between the two forms. Uh, if you are following it through, please don't forget to add that dialog for the button here, the dialog result in the properties window. Okay, because that's what's basically making it, making the whole thing back. Okay, I hope this uh, tutorial was useful. Um, if you did like it, please leave a like and a subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on the next tutorial.